Hello, ladies and gentlemen, DJ Raviesta here, and it's August 30th, 2019, the day that Astral Chain releases, and guys, I am hyped to play this game. I've been waiting for so long, and it's finally time to get it. I wasn't able to get it at midnight, like, I don't know, like 90% of the other people who are playing it right now, <laughs> but... I, uh, I, I was able to get it just a few minutes ago from Walmart. 50 bucks, yeah! And so, I am ready to go. I am hyped. This is going to be my first playthrough of this game. I have yet to touch it. I, like I said, I literally got this game moments ago and I just put it into my Switch. So, we're going to go on a journey. We're going to go through the world of Astral Chain, we're gonna be on that police force neuron, we're gonna we're gonna just have some fun. I can't wait. I'm excited as I'm sure you guys can tell. So thanks for joining me on this journey. Let's go. Update time. Alright. Um I'll catch you guys after this update. Alright, so the download for the update is done. And I am ready to just jump right into this game, guys. So let's go on this journey together. Astral Chain. Um, since it's my first playthrough, I'm of course going to be pretty silent during most of it, especially the cutscenes. If you guys are ready to see all of those things, don't worry about me being loud. Alright, so decent loading screen here. Very nice. Alright, so we're already being prompted to start up the game. I think this is a cutscene. Core, fully seated. Activity levels at 35.72, 36.18, 37.95. No sign of chimeric transformation. Understood. The particle gun is online and ready to fire. Whenever you're ready. Let's begin.
Well then, have the next candidates been chosen? Yes, they have. But they're not from our usual channels. They're two new officers who just joined Criminal Affairs. Hmm. They're... They're Captain Max's children. The twin orphans he took in. I've seen their test results, and frankly, Doctor, none of our other candidates come close. I've already taken the liberty of filing for their transfer to Neuron. Hmm. I understand. Well then, that was a nice opening cutscene for sure. Really cool. I like that. Um, one thing that they did have in there was they had the HD rumble in the cutscene for the part where the Chimera was like, uh, like stumbling around and ambling towards the, the glass. And even when it like jumped at the glass and everything and it was punching it, they had the rumble for that too. That was so nice. Very immersive. I like it. Okay. So, um, let's, let's do this. I'm going to be a man. Be a man. So, the given name, we'll go with my name. Our hairstyle. Hmm, let's see. I kind of want to get something that's long. But I'm not seeing anything that would. If anything, I would rock my hair like that. If I had it like permed and stuff. So let's do that. Okay, black is fine. Right, eyes. I have like darker brown eyes. Go back to the hairstyles real quick just to see if there's anything else because if not i'll just go with h yeah i guess i'll just stick with h all right well there's nothing else i can change i wish i could make like put on like a mustache and beard combo but unfortunately I don't think that can be done right now maybe later on I hope for that I'm really uh, hoping for that where are the two new candidates now doctor we've just received reports from the police of a confirmed gate opening in Central City all available officers have been sent to investigate I assume the twins are no different hmm that will do Let's consider this their field test. But sir, we haven't even briefed them on the project. Never mind that. If they were to fail now, we couldn't use them anyway. Brenda, humankind no longer has any more time to waste on useless formalities. All right, we're in it. We are playing the game. We are playing Astral Chain, ladies and gentlemen. Already got a hang of that. Attention! We've got several eyewitness reports of gate openings in Central City, Zone 36. All officers, ensuring civilian safety is your top priority. If you see any aberrations, take them out and keep the damage from spreading. 
Repeat. Calling all officers en route to Grand Avenue. Watch out for abandoned vehicles on the highway. The area has been designated Red Ship Level D. We've confirmed reports of civilian aberration. We have approval from the Union to use lethal force on any aberrations. Exercise your best judgment when engaging these targets. That is all. This is Akira Howard. I just arrived on scene. Yeah. <laughs> HQ, do you read me? There's too many operations to count. They blocked off the highway. I guess we're looking at multiple gates along the road. It must be spreading to everyone passing through. There's too many of them to handle. I need backup now. This is HQ. We're concentrating our firepower on Central City at the moment. Special yeah, I'm getting zero we will send over whoever we can once things have calmed down. Hold tight until then. What? You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> Without backup, we're done. You can hear me, right? Where the hell are you? Come on, get over here! Now! Well, I'm liking this part so far. Still dodge. Alright, got him. We are on our way. Probably didn't get the best score since I got hit a few times. <laughs> They're just letting us know we have an autosave feature, so that's cool. Boy, am I glad to see you. Give me a hand, will you? Right out the gate, we're s s trying to save some people from all of this uh, chaos. Man. Now, this really goes to show, this game is definitely going to be a lot more than just the combat. For sure. Thanks for your help. I can take it from here. There's more choppers on the way. Someone come give me a hand over here. 
Stylish. I like that little freeze frame they do there. That was cool. Hey, are you hurt? Here, take this. It'll heal you right up. Do you read me? Come on, where are you? I know that voice. They went to check out the crash site. Eyes open out there. Okay. So this is a little little tutorial about the field items. All right. So recovering combat items come in two varieties. Permanent items remain in your inventory until you use them, while temporary field supply items are lost at the end of the current file. Okay. Permanent items. The items you buy from shops or receive as rewards are permanent. You can't carry many of them, but you'll keep them after the current file if you don't use them. Field supply items. Items you find in supply crates or elsewhere are temporary field supply items, indicated by a exclamation point in their names. Any field supply items you don't use during a file are lost at the end of that file. Cool. Item use priority. If you're carrying both permanent and field supply versions of the same item, you'll automatically use the field supply version first when you use that item from the item shortcut menu. That's good. I like that. That way we don't have to worry about, okay, I've got to switch to the permanent one as opposed to the, uh, the temporary one. They just do it right there for you, so you just... No needing to switch, they just do the field supply one for you. Alright, cool. So that's all of it. Aberrations don't care if you're hurt. Better heal up whenever you can. We've got to take care of our buddy here. You go on ahead. Okay. I will. Loving the combat so far. I need to get used to it, of course. It's day one, but it, it's looking cool. Right, so we use this item. This is going on here. I saw someone heading towards where that chopper went down. All right, well, let's make our way over there. Let's check out this wounded officer first. I'm fine. Worry about that chopper, not me. What a trooper. All right, let's open up this chest. Ooh, medicine and supply snatch level one. Don't know what it does, but it does stuff. Okay. Okay, cool. So there's a little um wheel to switch in between stuff that I want to use. It's pretty cool. But it's a temporary pause. Okay, interesting. Hey, how you doing? Just stay with me. My leg. It's my damn leg. Uh, I can't move like this. Uh, a gate? Uh, who's there? Well, we've Tell got invisible items. Uh, enemies. Corruption levels just shot up over there. What's going on? We're engaging hostile targets. But whatever they are, we can't see them. Can't see them? Are you sure it's not just an aberration hidden somewhere? 
Whatever they are, get out of there now. That is all. Wait, wait, hey! Don't you hang up on me! Damn! How are we supposed to fight something we can't even see? This is real bad. I don't know how we're gonna make it. Time, huh? Dad? Better put the reunion on hold. Max, you must let them use the Legatus. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Commander! What the hell are you saying? You cannot expect them to fight Chimeras on their own. This is an order, Captain. Don't worry about calibration. I've already loaded their personnel data into those devices. If you say so. <sighs> Captain, are you serious? What, what is this thing? That thing. We'll let you use a legion of your own. Uh, I really hoped you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. Damn it, Commander. Uh, now don't go dying on me.
The Ark's not so public enemy number one. Chimera? The Ark's enemy? The device we gave you, the Legatus, experimental counter chimeric weaponry. It's what connects us to the Legion. That connection is why you can see the Chimeras now. On top of that, it's got memo taking apps, navigational aids, you name it. I've got the solitaire on mine. It's really good. Is this really the time to be geeking out, Jin? Listen, the Legion's wired to attack Chimeras all on its own. Think of yourself as lion team, Keep your hands on the whip, and you'll be fine. Look out, though. Legions aren't always the safest tool in the box. Keep them out too long and they overheat. It makes them cranky. And you do not want to see a cranky Legion. Trust me, your old man knows that from experience. Well, lucky for our dear captain, the Legatus' limiter keeps them from going from cranky to murderous. All right, all right, you two. Focus. Okay, this, this is interesting. I'm really gonna need to get the hang of this. All right, switching the legion, legions out and in and stuff. Gotta keep an eye on that. Dodges. These scenes look amazing. I I am in awe. <laughs> like they're just so cool. Are 
you okay? You nearly gave me a heart attack. Are you sure you've never used a Legion before? You're already way better at it than Max. <laughs> I'm standing right here, Alicia. <sighs> but I gotta admit, that was something. The damn thing moved like it was a part of your body. Okay. Copy that. Understood. Well, that seems to be all of them. We'd better get back to HQ. All right. You two are coming with us. I'll try to explain all this later. Okay. All right, yes. Yes. Pretty nice opening as well. <laughs> Let's check our uh, our results. We did uh n not bad, I guess. <laughs> All right, so from just this green alone, I guess we have the ability to change the rank. As in, we start out as a cadet, and then we can move up the ranks. Interesting. I want to see how how that fits into the game and what sort of things come with it. Okay. Casual playstyle. How many playstyles do they have? Unchained takes care of combat, letting you focus on the story. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play standard. Yeah. I've, I've played stuff like Bayonetta, Wonderful 101, and I, I think I'm ready. I think I'm okay at this. <laughs> I'm not terrible, but I'm okay. <laughs> So overall, my take on the game so far is the combat system is nice, I just need some time with it so I can get a better feel for it, honestly. I, I, like I felt a little bit stiff during the battles, but like I said, in time, in time, good things will come.
I've been waiting for you. You two have been chosen to join our special task force, Neuron. We've already cleared your transfers from criminal affairs. This is an order from the Union itself. Consider it a promotion you can't turn down. An order from the Union? W wait, wait a minute, Commander. I'm still the captain around here. And these two... They're my kids. You couldn't have run this by me before. Desperate times, Max. Captain or not, surely you understand the position humankind is in. I understand how you must feel, but I need you to be flexible. Ah, shit. Well then, I'll give you the short explanation. As you know, humanity faces the very real threat of extinction. Most believe this is due to mass corruption from the gates. But the truth is, there are worse dangers, which the Union finds prudent to keep classified. Dangers from beyond the gates. Invaders from a dimension outside our own. Chimeras like the ones you've just seen for the first time. They're invisible to the naked eye, but they cast a dimensional shadow in certain circumstances. That's how we were able to detect them in the first place. But still, we were powerless to stop them. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Chimeras dragged countless victims back to their dimension. Their corruption tainted the land itself. Most of the planet uninhabitable. We survivors fled here, to this artificial island we call the Ark. We thought we were safe, and we were for a while. But as you know all too well, it didn't last. At this rate, all of humankind will be pulled into the Chimera's dimension. We're facing down the end of the world. But I refuse to accept such a fate for our species. Through blood, sweat, and years of research, we finally made it. The ultimate counter-chimeric weapon. By neurologically syncing captured chimeras with human operators, we established control and made powerful allies. I'm referring, of course, to the legions. The legions gave you your first look at the dangers we truly face, but also a taste of the pinnacle of human ingenuity. But of course, not just anyone can use them. Only a precious few people have the natural faculties to synchronize with a legion. People like you. I'm sure this is a lot for you to process right now, but... Your species needs you. Your species chose you. The two of you hold the future of humankind in your hands. We're counting on you. And now, I hand you over to him. Well, it's been a while, huh? Your dad told me you'd join the police, but uh, I never imagined we'd see you here at Neuron. But growing up with Max around, it's no surprise you turned out tough. Now that you guys are here, let me officially welcome you to the team. Oh, you should have seen Max's face when he found out you were coming. But between us, I think he's happy you're here. There's only five of us right now, but there are more candidates waiting for the ARI to make more legions. I know the commander talks a lot of gloom and doom, but relax. More help is on the way. Uh, eventually. Anyway, first things first. It's time to get to know your legion.
There's a training room downstairs. We'll go there and work on your fundamentals. I'll call the others. Huh. Max isn't picking up. Uh, do me a favor and get him and Alicia for me, will you? I bet you'll find him up on the roof. I'll head downstairs and set up the training room. See you there in a bit. Oh, that's right. Open up the menu in your Legatus and you'll find a map of the station. It might come in handy if you get lost. So, the Legatus gives us the ability to strengthen our legions, check the map, uh, items, and system settings. Simple enough. And we can save from the PC on our desk in HQ. Hmm. Jin hasn't changed a bit, has he? How long has it been since we last saw him? Two years? Hey, remember when Dad was in the hospital and Jin came to take care of us? His coking wasn't the greatest, but, but when you think about it, Jin's always been there for us. We gotta find some way to make it up to him. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, so I want to talk to all these people. Hijima, I've heard about you. Welcome to Neuron. I'm Kijima from the Tech Crew. It's our job to keep all the equipment in working order. I'm taking care of setting up your PC. Take a look when you have time. Alright, will do. Okay, cool. File select. Okay, so I guess I can go back and do these cases? I can! Interesting. I can even see what the results were for them. So I might go back a little bit later just to, you know, try and beat them again, but with uh, in standard. I think it was at the... Yeah, it was on casual before. Oh, okay, cool. Database, so you can take a look at all of the different things in the game. So, that's the arc, where everyone is. Huh. Nice. Short and sweet to the point. Zone 10. Yeah, I'm definitely going to come back and look at those. I, I, I like that kind of thing in games where they have a bit of backstory and lore with uh, the data, like databases and like stuff like that in the game. I really like that. Makes everything feel a bit more real. Okay, play style. We're on standard. I'm going to save. Nice. I'm liking this music too. <laughs> like I just found myself vibing to it for a few seconds. I'm like, oh wait, I'm bobbing my head and moving myself to this. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, like I just love music. Especially um, if music in a game is bumping or feeling, you know, if I can feel the vibe from it, then I, I, I really get into it. But uh, yeah, enough of that. Let's go check out the, um, the training room. So I believe on the mini map here, we can take a look and see where it is. So there's an arrow pointing. Who are you? 
Yeah, I am that rookie. This is Michael Boone, okay. Amateur zoologist. Shout out to the zoologists out there. Call me Mike. I'd love to talk Wild Kingdom with you, but no time for that right now. See you around. See you around, Mike. You keep your doing keep doing your zoological studies. Alright, so the elevator. You gotta use it. And we can go to... I'm gonna go to training first. Because I, I want to get a hang of how the, uh... How the legions feel. I'm not sure if they'll let us go in right now, but... Ooh. Nice. And then dismiss it with R. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, I have to bring them back here first. First. Okay. Ooh, a thing. Let's grab it. Alright, medicine. People's offices. Lady named Tabitha. Alright. So, to the heliport. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm just trying to take in the environment because it, it all just it looks so nice. It feels good to just, you know, walk around here and check everything out. All buildings in the distance. I gotta say, this game does look really good. Alright, so let's make our way over to Max and Alicia. down to the training room. Uh-huh. So that's the call you ignored earlier. So, what's the matter, Dad? Look, if I've never changed your diapers, you don't get to call me Dad. And neither do you, Akira. Just keep it professional. He's captain here. I'm sure Jin can handle your training on his own. Look, there's nothing I can teach you that he can. Aw. He's just acting tough. You guys know he's just worried sick about you, right? Alicia, why do you keep doing that? Um... What? Considering we're gainfully employed adults, shouldn't our captain take more responsibility for us than our father? Ugh. <laughs> it's gonna be fun having you guys around. Anyway... To report to Jin for your training. T tell him I'm I'm busy. Well, that goes for me too. Sorry, but make sure Jin teaches you a lot. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Uh, you don't have to keep it that professional. I mean, we're all on the same team now, after all. Yes, ma'am. I mean, thanks. Alright. Alicia seems nice, and she sure seems to get along well with Dad. I mean, the Captain. Seeing him here with Jin and Alicia, it's a side of him I've never seen before. It feels weird.
Well, now we can go down to the training area. Let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get in there, whip out our legion. And... Okay. Oh, now I know how to do that. Okay, cool. I can attack at the same time while moving the legion. That's cool. I'm probably gonna learn this while I'm doing the training. So let's just let's just get right to it. There you are. Ready to train? Wait, where's the captain and Alicia? Oh, they, uh, the captain said you could handle it. Uh, that guy's more sensitive than he looks. Oh, well, that's not a bad thing, I guess. All right, I'll run you through the basics. Before we continue, strap this thing on your back. Great, looks like it fits. Ooh, the Legatus Cradle. Hmm. Iris, nice. That's your Legatus Cradle. Neuron regulations say to keep your Legatus stowed in that cradle when you're not out in the field. And here's your integrated reality imaging system, Iris. You'll forget how you ever cracked cases without it. All right, let's start with an easy one. Point your iris at the computer terminal over there. Okay. Okay, so turn your iris to display, turn it on to display locations of case, sub objectives, and other info. Okay. Use, it for, use it for information analysis, place the iris cursor on markers, characters, enemies, and mechanisms to see detailed information about them. Blue case marker, blue cases are minor cases that you can solve to earn extra duty points. They may also provide information or items. Okay. Red cases are major cases, solving them will boost your evaluation, eh, evaluation at the end of the file. Look at the file objective marker with your iris to check your red matter cleanup and item collection progress. Alright, so we got a basic idea for how the iris works. It seems to be pretty integral to the system of um to the system of play here. Alright, so. right, let's start with an easy one. Point your iris at the computer terminal. Find it okay? Alright, now boot up the terminal and try out a training program. It's a self-guided routine, so you can skip over anything you don't think you need to cover. Information display. Okay. So... Iris, shut down. Oh, okay. Iris, start up. Alright. Let me do this properly. Okay, so... Information display. Try out a training program. Movement attacking, locking on. Legion control. Legion attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. Legion attacks. All right, let's begin. Iris, okay. Shut down. Attack the enemy with your legion. Your legion will attack automatically if you send it out or get it close to a target. This program, what's next? You 
invasion. What? Yeah, let's mess All with right, that. Let's begin. I'd really like to get the hang Try of that. And dodge the enemy attack. Let's try a perfect dodge next. Get out of the way just before an enemy attack lands. If you pull it off, it'll feel like everything but you has slowed down. Take advantage of that and strike back at the enemy. Give it a shot. Alright, I gotta do the attack afterwards. Nice. Bad. Nice. And it feels Dolphins good too to do that. What's next? Feels really, really nice. <laughs> okay, sparring practice. Chain bind, chain counter. I did a chain bind just now when I was doing the Allegiant Attacks tutorial, so I'm gonna try out chain counter, see how right, see what begin. that's all about. Alright. Use your astral chain to send an oncoming opponent flying. This will leave the enemy temporarily defenseless. Def defenseless. Sorry for Here's stumbling over cool my words, guys. Do with your legion's astral chain. First, watch the target for a sign that it's going to charge. When it does, move your legion and try to stop it with the chain. You can stop it with the chain and throw it back where it came from. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, I messed it up again. No, I got it. Never mind. I was just really close nice to that wall. Work. You're a natural. That's all for this program. What's next? Alright, so I'm gonna do some sparring practice just so I can mess around. Aberrations, chimeras, humanoids. I'll do the aberrations. Right, let's begin. Here, you can pick an opponent and go toe to toe for as long as you want it. When you're ready to quit, choose change program or quit training from the system menu. I can even dodge other enemies' attacks and and use it to attack the um, the thing I'm locked onto. I'm, I'm still trying to get the hang of this. <laughs> Try to wrap this guy up. Uh, 
Uf. got knocked down, yikes. There we go, I got both of them, nice! Fortunately, my Legion got taken out. I gotta get used to this lock-on system. Like, I am not getting it. I gotta be careful not to switch to the wrong enemy when I have lock on. Cause I'm so used to moving the control stick, the um the an the right analog stick to just realign the camera whenever I need to. So, like I forget that I shouldn't be doing that when I have lock on activated. So I have an idea. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try something. Else. I'm gonna see if I can do a perfect dodge and then send out my legion to attack. Okay, I'm sort of getting used to it. Sort of getting used to it. I just need a bit more time. Nice. All right. Training program you want to try. Alright, so I can switch over to chimeras or humanoids. Or I can get to another one. Yeah, I'll try the movement. Alright, let's begin. Basic Here goes. Options. Let's see you move to the circle in the middle of the room. Not bad. Such an accomplishment. Next stop is dashing. Time to break a sweat. Let's see if you can dash through all these circles. Not bad. Nice. That's all for this program. What's next? Okay, so dashing. I'm actually kind of... <laughs> Sad to say, I'm kind of happy I did that tutorial just now because I forgot dashing was a thing. I'd probably remember it like a, remember it like maybe a few minutes from now or something. <laughs> but yeah, glad I I used that. Legion control. All right, let's, let's work begin. on that. Send out your legion like you're throwing it at a target. That'll start you off on the right foot. It's good for when your target's high up or otherwise out of reach. All 
right. Here we are. Okay. So, set up the Legion. Okay, now pull your Legion back. Part of the job is knowing when to pull your Legion out of trouble. Now the Legion can't stay out forever. You've got to keep an eye on its limiter gauge, or there could be trouble. If that gauge hits zero, you won't be able to call the Legion back out until it fills up again. Be sure to give the Legion a break to cool down every now and then. All right, switch your Legion off. See? Once you call off the Legion, the limiter gauge starts filling back up. Always watch your gauge. All right. It's Always all watch the program. gauge. What's next? Always watch the gauge. All right, next, let's go on with attacking, because I still right, need to begin. get, like I said, a bit more comfortable. The target the old-fashioned way. No legion. <laughs> and they're not even letting me take out the legion. Target from behind, and you'll do more damage. Try to hit the target from behind. Hey, you felt that right? That one hit a lot harder than usual. That's a critical attack. You can also aim for the head if you want to do critical damage. Go for critical hits whenever you can, and battle will go a lot more smoothly. That's all for this program. What's next? Okay. Cool, so they have a critical hit system. That's nice. I wonder how easy it's gonna be to aim for the head. Ugh. Eh, I'll figure that out later, whatever. <laughs> In the meantime, let's see, I think we probably need to do one more. Chain bind, I kind of figured that one out already. But let's let's go on to Legion movement. All right, let's begin. Get in the middle circle. Now move your Legion through the blue circles that appear around you. Man, these things move pretty fast. Not gonna lie. Not bad. That's all for this program. What's next? Right. Yeah, let's end training for now. Mm. Maybe one more thing. Maybe there's something in the chain bind training section that might might be something I don't know yet. Right, let's, let's find begin. out. Wrap enemies in your chain to subdue them. The more times you do this, the easier it becomes for them to break free. So you can't spam it. Okay. You can use your Legion's astral chain to bind targets. Move your Legion around the target and try to wrap it up in your chain. That'll keep it still for a while and you'll be able to pummel it while it's temporarily defenseless. It doesn't actually hurt, so it makes a good way to subdue fleeing suspects, too. All right, That's cool. all for this program. What's next? Using items. Iris on and off. Yeah, let's mess with that. All right, let's begin. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm just... Switch on your Iris and give the target a look. I feel like doing everything right now. <laughs> Iris starting. If the target's dangerous, you can see how much damage it's taken. Oh. You can also look at civilian profiles in a flash, and keeps all the info you gather while on the case close at hand. Okay, Iris off. Iris, Once you've down. analyzed a foe, you can see how much you've damaged it, even with your Iris off. Handy, huh? 
sums it up. That's pretty cool. That's all for this program. That, that is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so I think that'll do it for now. Yeah, I'm gonna just end the training. And I guess that'll end our first episode of Astral Chain gameplay thing that I'm doing here. Yo, guys, thanks for joining me on this. I can't wait till the next episode so we can keep on going through this and just having a great time. I look forward to it. I'll catch you guys later.